So I've been curious about what makes order out of chaos, um, what makes the patterns appear and such. Uh, if you, and um, synchronization, like uh, how things get synchronized when um, they're so different. If you look down here, uh, this node pattern seems to be kind of random. Um, but, you know, you may, you know, there's a limit there. But if you uh, reduce the sensitivity of each of them to each other, an interesting thing happens. And you'll start to see it. Um, they begin to synchronize with each other. Can you see how these two? They start to um, move into a consistent pattern, and there's a gap that forms between them. And, uh, you know, their phases are locked together. And I just find this phase locked loop to be very, uh, very interesting. Uh, you'll see it, something similar happen with. Uh, you know, with like clocks. You know, clocks that. Let's see if it's getting in the frame here. There we go. You have uh, clocks that uh, you know can go in and out of sync with each other. And what prompted it was. Where is it? Yeah, look at this beautiful thing. This is a circle graph. And of uh, what's called. What are they called? Arnold tongues? Yes, they're called Arnold tongues. And what you can see here, these black sections, this is where things are in sync. As you look down here, there's the black right there. Um, and what it means is that this is this is uh, this is time. I mean, <coughs> this is order out of chaos and this is a very important thing that we've been able to exploit and it allows I don't even I can't even say how many different things uh, to occur uh, but anyway so phase locked loop PLL if you ever see that phrase um, this is what it is and it's a very complex process and it's you know it means time you know time is kind of created out of uh, synchronization and uh, I find that very interesting <laughs>